Bonjour and bienvenue. That's hello and welcome to the very heart of the West Indies, where we shall be showing you Ponant's beautiful ship, Le Dumont de Ville, sailing the Caribbean Sea in the most exhilarating 13-day island hopping experience that can possibly be had in this beautiful part of the world. An Eastern Caribbean cruise is the perfect mix of jaw-droppingly gorgeous scenery, picture-perfect weather, mostly, and, well, for us Europeans, just the thing to escape a cold winter. These vlogs will show you this region in detail, so please come with us, hit that subscribe and bell button, and we promise you'll absolutely love what drops into your notifications over the next few weeks. This is small ship cruising at its best in one of the most stunning parts of the world. We're going to be starting in Martinique and visiting all these beautiful little destinations in the easternmost archipelago included in the region known as the Lesser Antilles. In our opinion, the most beautiful region in the Caribbean. What are we waiting for? Let's go! Welcome to Fort de France, the capital city of Martinique and our embarkation port. We were there for just one full morning before boarding Le Dumont de Ville, but to be honest, the city was small and compact, so that was really all we needed. We took a stroll to the indoor market that sold everything from an extensive range of local spices to local rum to clothing. We even papped a wedding. Although, to be honest, I was far more fascinated with the wedding car than how gorgeous the bride looked. Still, it was a very sweet addition to the day. The streets in the centre are narrow and bustling, and random buildings in between shops took shabby chic to new levels. Well, we are technically in France after all, and they love a bit of that, do the French. But there's nothing shabby at all about our other French home for the next 12 nights, spotted here from our hotel room coming into port, but we'll get to her soon. First, we have to briefly show you our hotel, simply called Simon, a name of Hebrew origin and distinctly unfrench. The hotel was absolutely lovely though, bright, modern, serving delicious food and with its gorgeous terrace that overlooked the beachfront. They even let us stay here for hours on embarkation day after we had checked out lounging in the bar area after our morning walk in town. Marvellous. Now while we're here, I'll quickly mention the pre-cruise pack that Ponant send you prior to your cruise. <laughs> these postal luxuries are few and far between these days, and it was a great little surprise to plop through our letterbox. Anyway, enough of all that. Let's talk Fort de France embarkation. Doesn't she look tiny compared to her massively sized, crowded neighbour? See what I did there? The MSC Seaside is under two and a half times longer than Le Dumont de Ville, but has a passenger capacity of nearly 28 times more. I guess our queue for the check-in might not be as stressful or lengthy as theirs. Right, we've just got through the check-in process. It's very, very quick. Right, we are through security and heading towards the ship. <laughs> We still have this very kind gentleman taking our luggage <laughs> and um, I don't know what to do. My sunglasses, my belt here from, uh, from security. But that's a little villagey thing now. This is Fort de France, the uh, Fort de France retail village. On the way to the ship. Cloudy day, which is nice because it's still like 25 degrees out here, I'm sure it is. I see her in. And I see her in. Look at that. We are nearly on to Le Dumont de Ville. This is how to embark a ship. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Bonjour. Bonjour. Thank you. Wow. Oh, a little hotel. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. have a full ship tour of Le Dumont de Ville and we highly recommend you take a look. I'll leave a link at the end of this episode.
If you like the look of this cruise or any other ultra-luxury or luxury ocean cruise, river, expedition or yacht-style cruise, our preferred and trusted travel partners are Panache Cruises, the award-winning industry-respected luxury cruise specialists with decades of combined knowledge in creating for you the perfect cruise experience. Please give them a call and tell them Visit With Us sent you. We would be incredibly honoured and it helps this channel too. Call one of these numbers now or visit their beautiful website to make your next bucket list cruise, like the one we're taking here, a reality. Now, back to the video. Good morning from Le Dumont de Ville. We are sailing towards, where are we sailing towards? St. Kitts and Nevis. St. Kitts and Nevis. Just had, Nevis. Just had breakfast. What a beautiful day it is. And yeah, who can resist a little tiny walnut muffin? Little cake bites they put in it. It's gorgeous. And as we said before on Le Bello, the tea bags are actually like little little miniature sacks like cloth sacks like if you're having a lego coal yard that'd be the size of them now this is the beauty of this ship and the beautiful marina deck we actually use it as a tender station as well so as well as it being like a water sports deck it's a very very well thought out tender station and i think we're getting ready to go over there which is St. Kitts and Nevitt, Carambella Beach. In the meantime though, everyone's having some lunch. Oh my goodness, what a gorgeous day. Well, good morning from Carambola Beach. Well, South, South Friars Bay. South Friars Bay. St. Kitts and Nevis. South Friars Bay, is that what it's called? Yeah. Okay. We have been here, like you say, this is where Carambola Beach is, all, is which we've done with Seaborn before. So. You can see behind us, doesn't that look great? Just stopping for a little bit of lunch before we get off. And uh, then we'll be heading to the beach. Let's get some early lunch, shall we? I'm actually quite hungry. And it's not even 12 o'clock, and lunch is served. Look at that. That's the Ponnen burger. And the veggie burger passes the test. It's uh, like a proper impossible burger, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Top marks, Ponnen. I don't know if you can see the ship in the background. Look. Ship in the background. The the ship. On its way back. Yep. And uh, it's really quiet. Yeah. Really, really quiet. I mean, we're just going to have a wander on the beach. We might end up back at Carambola Beach Club. <laughs> yep. Sit down, might we? Well, we're just going to have a walk along the beach because it is such a sort of chilled day today, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Especially with oh, nice, here comes a big wave. Nice cold beer. Up, up, up. <laughs> oh, my shorts are getting wet. Right, let's go for a walk. <laughs> See you later. Literally nothing built along here apart from Carambola Beach Club. We've made it to the bar. So this is the other end of Carambola Beach to the beach club. And um, look at it, it's just like well cool. The shipwreck. Is it called the shipwreck? 
and uh, well you can see why they call it the shipwreck. Come and see it for yourself. Carambola doesn't look as good when it's not no. all dolled up, does it? It's no all. Here, yeah. No. We made it with seconds to spare. Mind you, no one's got out yet. So maybe we had minutes to spare. <laughs> maybe we had hours to spare. I'll tell you, life don't get much better than this. That evening we had the Captain's Gala welcome outside at the grill. Followed by the Captain's dinner and we sat very near the Captain's table where they obviously don't skimp on the pomp and ceremony when it comes to table service. Of course the wines were French and the menu was mouth-watering. Here's a selection of what we enjoyed. What a first full day! We can't wait to show you the rest in what we believe to be one of the most intimate luxurious, relaxed and, well, Caribbean experiences you could possibly have. Please subscribe and hit that bell button to be notified when part two will drop. Hint, it's very soon. And please continue your Pollard adventure with us by watching these next. Merci beaucoup. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>